Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reacting to the island performance of DNA. And if you don't know, in the DNA performance, well, let me backtrack. So this week's episode is episode 8. And episode 7, BTS was on it. And they were giving a lot of the contestants like advice. It was really, really cute. And in episode 8, which is this week's episode, their test for the week was to do BTS performances. So they were separated into three different groups. By the way, each member is a soloist and they will be put together in a group of seven at the end of the show to debut under Big Hit. If you don't know what's going on, that's basically what's going on. They're all technically soloists that are working together to do performances, but at the end of the show, seven members will be uh, chosen to uh, debut under Big Hit and Currently, they're doing judges, like the judges will be eliminating the weakest member with the lowest score, but then at the end, on the very final episode, it will be a global voting, and fans can vote for their seven final members to debut. We can currently still vote right now, and if you don't watch the show and really don't care but love my channel and love me, um, please go on the Island app, like go on Weavers, it's on Weavers, go on Weavers and click Island, and please vote for Kay and Nikki. Y'all piss me off. Like, some of you island watchers piss me off because you, we can now vote into the very end. And tell me why Kay and Nikki are ninth and 10th place in global voting. Only seven members can debut and they're ninth and 10th right now in ranking. They have to be in the top one to seven ranking in order to debut. And y'all piss me off because they are some of the most talented members on this show and you guys are ranking them last and having some members ranked higher because you think they're cute when their talent lacks less than Kay and Nikki's which pisses me off this isn't a show like America's Next Top Model and who's the prettiest and who's who's like the most like egg yo like who's the cutest one no it's based off talent and nobody apparently understands that the judges rank and give them these scores for a reason please for the love of god listen to the judges and listen and consider their scores and what the judges say about each performers because it makes no sense when i'm not even gonna talk shade but like it just cons it, like it makes no sense where Kay and nikki have higher scores from the judges but y'all rank them so low especially k like that's all i'm gonna say if you love me and you don't watch island you don't care about it just go on the weverse app go on island and vote for k and nikki because these boys need to debut, like, period. That's all I'm gonna say. If you're new here, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up for me, and we're gonna react to the DNA performance. I'm so excited, you guys. The performance was really cool. Okay, so this is Kay, one of the members I told you to vote for. He is literally such a talented guy. He... One of the things that a lot of the contestants have to work on, a lot of the judges... Like the, the judges are the people who did the BTS choreographies. The judges are people who work under Big Hit, like are very high ranked under Big Hit. Or they're really famous singers like Rain. Um, oh my gosh, I'm blanking, but oh, what's his name? Someone else was on it. He was very, very famous. I listen to his song all the time. I can, I'm like, I'm going to leave his name right here. But he was also a judge. Bang PD is on here. BTS choreographer who works with BTS on all of these dances. Is the judge like these are the judges are very skilled people and they always tell a lot of the contestants to work on their facial features but k that man has it down like he has it locked down he's so talented the guy with the uh, maroon thing like that like across is jay and the yellow is nikki and hanbin is in the yellow and red See, like, look at that. He just has, like, he, he has so much facial features. Especially in this performance, I love it. He's so cool. I love this performance, honestly. So that's Jay and, and Hanbin. This is Nikki. I thought their performance was so good. It's so refreshing. See, look at Kay's facial features. And Jay's too. Jay's is really good.
All of their facial features are on point. Their dancing killed it. They are essentially the best dancers in the show. They did so well. Nikki's like 14 years old, I think. He's super young. Jay really, really like outdid himself in performance. It was one of my favorite performances by him. Nikki. So one of the things the contest the judges did say was that Nikki did improve a lot on his facial features, like his facial like um expressions. But I feel like he could do a little bit more work. Like he could definitely improve a little bit more. Look at that. That was the their choreography is on point. Okay, just this is one of my favorite performances. Like I'm gonna go through each of the members of this performance, K, J, Nikki, and Hanbin. We're gonna start off with K. So, particularly in episode eight, if you guys watched it, throughout the entire show, K was never like, I just wanna say right now, if you ever hate on a member, any member for the, on this show for being a bad person, I just want you to reconsider what you're thinking before you, cause Nikki, before this, before episode seven, a lot of people were shitting on him for his personality, his attitude, all this stuff. But at the end of the day, no one was putting in consideration that he's 14 years old. Nikki is 14 years old. And at the end of the day, this is a show. Like, this is a reality show. And they need to have an attack, like, a protagonist and, and a antagonist. Like, they needed you guys to have a villain for a show to be entertaining. Like, if they just have a show where everybody gets along and everybody's super happy you wouldn't be tuning in like that's not what keeps the show interesting so just know that as i film my youtube videos i cut and edit what i want to show you and as mnet the company that does this show they cut and edit what you want to what they want you to see and how they can literally like there's cameras surveying these guys 24 hours a day they're, they have so much clip and usage of each member they can literally chop up pieces of content like they can literally chop up a piece of content from like 5 p.m and put it right after a member said something and made it look like it was like the 2 p.m footage like they can chop stuff up and make you to like make you think of a member a certain way like that's how that's how television works so please you can you can have your own opinion on each contestant but don't go setting hate on them online like i've seen some nasty shit about nikki online that's not cool. He's 14 years old, but it's gone a lot better now that BTS is obsessed with him. Let me correct myself. Hosuk loves Nikki, and now everyone's obsessed with him after episode 7, and I'm just like, I told all of you guys from day one. Like, I have had Nikki's back from day one, because stuff was just not adding up, how Mnet was making Nikki seem like such a villain, but then all the contestants loved him. Like, that made no sense. You know, if he was really a villain... You don't think these older guys who are like 22, I think Kate is 22, like would adore him? No, that makes no sense, you know? So anyways, that's just my little PSA. But we're going to start off with Kay. Kay from episodes 1 to 6. I have never seen Mnet try to portray him as a villain or a bad guy. He was a very well-loved guy. In my personal opinion, the most talented members are Hee Sung, and then it goes to Kay. And I feel like every single member 
agrees with that. Like every single if you watch a show, like it's very obvious that like, they all the contestants think Kate is very, very, very talented. He even um designed one of the choreographies and the judges were like in awe. Like Rain was in awe. The idol Rain was in awe of the choreography. He was like, How did you think of that? Like he was so just like amazed at his talent. Like Kay has so much talent and I've never seen Kay portrayed in a negative light. I, he's always been super sweet on the show. But recently, Mnet has been making Kay look like a villain or a bad guy. And I don't like it. I don't like it. In episode 7, when they did the first global rankings, Kay was ranked pretty low in global rankings. And it made him look really, they made him look really, really salty and mad on the show which i'm sure he was like i'm sure he was mad and upset because he is one of the most talented members and global global votings might not matter now but every member knows that global ma votings matter in the end because the top seven members that get to debut is decided through global votings and he was like, ranked pretty low and he was pissed i would be pissed off too but the way they made him portray portrayed him out to be was like he was just really upset and salty like there's a difference between being worried but like he made that the mnet people made him look very like unhappy for other people and just very salty making faces and it's just like i don't think that's who he is as a person i genuinely genuinely don't and it saddens me because after i feel like that episode got released episode seven a lot more people didn't like Kay and his personality but like if you've kept up with the show from episode one to six you know his personality you know he is a good person and he's a very very talented person at that and in episode eight you guys saw that Kay was a leader and Nikki and Kay had a little bit of a fight they were arguing because Nikki wanted to do something extra like an extra movement like an ad lip but he didn't talk to the members about it and he did mess up like Nikki did mess up it was kind of selfish but I can see why he did it like I understand it was selfish because at the end of the day this is a team performance but he cared more about his solo performance and how well he did a solos and he was like oh maybe if I added this ad lip it would give me a higher score I understand how that may be seen to you guys as like very selfish which it was but I see why he did it because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if like, it, it, at the end of the day, how did I say this nicely? At the end of the day, his solo performance score matters more. It's what's going to be keeping him on the show. So I understand as a 14 year old, you're probably not thinking like, hmm, maybe I should do what's best for the team. You kind of thinking like I need to do what I gotta do to keep my butt on the show because Nikki has been sent to ground before and it's just like I understand his anxiety and wanting to stay on the show and he's also 14 years old like when I was at 14 years old you're telling me like you were what in eighth grade you're gonna want to give up your dreams for the team rather than doing this one extra stuff that might increase your score to stay on the show you know so I see where he was coming from but it wasn't right, I understand, and Kay calls him out on that. But the way they made Kay, like, the way Kay did it, I don't like how everyone is hating him on it. Everyone's calling him, like, a jerk, like, he was mean to Nikki. I don't think he was. I think as a leader, and as someone who's 22 years old, that's a lot older than you, he told Nikki as it was. Like, he was like, why are you being so selfish? Like, you're not caring about the team. He was talking to Nikki, and everyone was saying, like, oh, it's so rude of Kay to ask Nikki to go into the room and talk. How is that rude? Like, I would rather go privately into a room and talk to someone about what I thought they were doing wrong than call them out in front of the other team members. That would be more embarrassing. It's better to talk about stuff privately than to be, like, you know, like, yelling stuff out in the air so everyone in the freaking house can hear it. I think that was actually very mature. And I don't know why. Like, a lot of you us watched the show because we're BTS fans and it was something that big hit release and we were interested in watching it. I don't know why y'all are acting like, I'm just gonna mention BTS because this week is BTS themed anyways. 
I don't know why you guys are acting like BTS has never fought each other before. Like, if I remember correctly, there was literally a movie where, a BTS movie, where they they showed a clip of the members literally arguing about not the same situation, but something similar. I believe it was Tae and Jin. They were arguing over, like, a dance move. And I'm gonna be honest, they were pretty ruthless to each other. But that is nothing for us to... We None of the fans sat there and, like was like, oh, you're being all really rude to him, or you're doing this and that. We did it because it wasn't our place to judge them. They, everyone argues, brothers and sisters argue. I argue with my sister all the time. Teammates argue, and that's just how it works. I feel like you guys act like none of you have ever been in a team before, have never done teamwork before. Teammates argue, and that's what I felt like they were doing. They were butting heads. But dude, at the end of the day, they literally fixed it. They hugged it out. They literally came went in to cuddle with Nikki. I think that was the cutest thing ever. Like, he made sure everything was okay. And they got over it. Like, that's... I felt like that was the most important part of the show for this team. And you guys decided to not focus on that part. The cutest part of the entire part for the DNA team. But y'all decided to focus on the fight and the, the bad part of the fight. Rather than focusing on the positive part of the fight. That's my opinion on that. K is super talented, and if you guys are going to be ranking him ninth place for that situation, you're dumb. You're literally dumb. This show is to help people achieve their dreams and debut as actual artists. Like, I feel like a lot of you guys aren't voting for him because you feel like he's a mean guy for calling out Nikki. No, like, I feel like you're dumb. You want someone like that on your team to tell you when you have messed up and that you need to stop being selfish. Like, that is someone you want on your team. That's all I'm saying. I feel like Kay and Nikki have always been my favorite. I adore them. I love them. Jay, I'm gonna be honest. Jay in episode seven and eight have like literally. I didn't really. I wasn't too big of a fan of Jay in the beginning because I felt like he was very, very overconfident and then got really butt hurt when like his overconfidence was shot down by the other members. But in episode seven and eight, I have been like I have gotten to adore him i adore him so so much and i do hope he ends up debuting i feel like he gives me such like rapper vibes like i can definitely see him being a rapper and he is so sweet as you have been watching if you've been watching the shows through multiple episodes you saw scenes where he helps the other members like he he's grown a lot his character development through the show has grown a lot as a person he went from just wanting the main parts to you know understanding one he needed to step back and he still helps the members which i think are super cool like he helps other contestants even though they're technically competing for the same spot against which i think shows a lot about his character so when it comes to hanbin if you guys didn't know hanbin is the vietnamese contestant and i am vietnamese and hanbin is from vietnam and i really 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 wanted to like him like when i first found out that a Vietnamese contestant was going to be on the show i was so hyped i was just like finally if he makes it and he debuts it will help out the Vietnamese um music industry so much more because there's not really any really famous Vietnamese singer that has gotten mainstream media attention they might be famous in like within the Vietnamese community but not really famous internationally and I feel like having a member like a Vietnamese person debuting under Big Hit will definitely bring the Vietnamese music in the kind of radar a little bit more which I thought was gonna be really really cool and I was really excited to hear that a Vietnamese contestant was going to be on the show but when I initially first saw Hanbin in his first ever performance, low-key, I was not really impressed. I really adored his personality so freaking much. And I felt like Hanbin never got a chance to be on Island. He was, from the very first episode, he was in ground, which I thought was so unfortunate. Because I never really got to see his full potential talent, honestly. Because I feel like when he got sent to ground, he was really like... Um, like he was kind of like iffy about his talent and was really sad as one would be but the DNA performance really really showed me his full talent potential like like I was never able to see Hanbin's full 
talent and his potential. But every single member of the show or contestant would always be like, yeah, you're such a great dancer. Like, they always praise Hanbin and his um, dancing skills. Even the judges were like, yes. Like, they would name off the best dancers of the show and he would always be one of them. So I'm just like, he obviously has talent and I really wish I was able to see it more. But I finally got to see it because through global voting, they, they did account for global voting in episode 6. And through global voting, the fans saved him and set him to be in the top 12. And I was able to see more of his talent. And I can genuinely say I am excited to see him grow more as an artist, as a trainee, as a contestant under Island. I am excited to see his performances. Um, I feel like he will grow a lot on the show. Every single time I see him perform, he gets better and better. Overall, I genuinely do have hope in him i see that he has a lot of potential and i'm very excited to see that that's all i have to say about the four island contestants i can ramble on and on and on about them all day but i'm gonna cut it here because this video is getting kind of long and you can feel free to leave anything you want about the island contestants in the comments below i will read every single one of them i love talking to people about island because i think the show itself is really really interesting and i love you guys so much and i'll talk to you next time bye